Burger Chef was an American fast food restaurant chain that opened in 1954 and closed in 1996. Thank you for your suggestion. Hello, welcome to Burger Chef. We'd like a Star Wars poster, please. I knew it. Well, all you do is buy a large serving of Coca-Cola at a special price and the poster's yours. R2, look, it's us. R2, I think we'd better leave. Collect all four Star Wars posters only at Burger Chef. In 1954, Frank and Donald Thomas patented the flame broiler in their parent company, General Equipment Corporation, and set up the restaurant in Indianapolis, Indiana. Frank Thomas was a tinkerer, and way back in 1929, he started a small firm called General Equipment Company to produce and sell some of the machines he had created. These inventions included a mechanism that would freeze a milk mixture and dispense it nearly solid, a device Frank called the SantaServe, and what we know as the first soft serve ice cream machine. In 1954, James McLaramore and Dave Edgerton convinced Frank to produce an improved version of a hamburger grill. The new one would use a series of gas flames to flame broil the patty. Frank agreed, and the partners took the prototype machine back to their small group of restaurants in Jacksonville, Florida. Searching for a name that would set them apart from the growing crowd of fast food stands, they had settled on Burger King, and a legend was born. Meanwhile, Frank was making some improvements to the machine, and by 1957 had doubled the production rate to 2,000 burgers per hour. Donald Thomas and his brother Frank opened a prototype fast food burger stand at the Little America Amusement Center across the street from the new Glendale Shopping Center at 62nd Street and Keystone Avenue in Indianapolis, Indiana. Pleased with the response, the brothers decided to open a standalone restaurant at 3401 West 16th Street in Indianapolis, which they called Burger Chef. The unique taste of the char-grilled burger, coupled with the brothers' extensive contact network in the food service business and a reasonable 15-cent price per burger, meant that the chain grew quickly. Burger Chef featured their famous 15-cent flame-broiled hamburger before Burger King and their triple treat of a flame-broiled burger, fries and a shake, for 45 cents. By October of 1959, Burger Chef Systems operated more than 40 stores in the Midwest and the East and announced plans for 100 new stores within the year. In Indianapolis, franchises were rapidly opening up all over town. In 1965, Burger Chef unveiled the Big Chef, a double-decker hamburger with cheese, tangy sauce, and lettuce on a toasted bun. McDonald's Big Mac was introduced in 1967. The Super Chef was later added as a signature item. 1961, the chain opened its 75th store, and by September 1st, 1965, when the 450th store opened at 6 East Washington Street in Indianapolis, the chain had operations in 34 states. 134 more stores opened by 1966, the same year that they renamed General Equipment Company, the Santa Serve Division of Burger Chef Systems, Inc. The staggering growth rate of Burger Chef continued until the chain boasted nearly 900 stores in late 1968, second only to McDonald's, who only had about 1,000 locations at the time. The brothers were getting tired, though, having worked almost constantly to build Burger Chef for 14 years. In that year, General Foods Corporation, makers of packaged grocery goods like Post Cereal, purchased Burger Chef and Santa Serve from the brothers for nearly $20 million. Announcing grand plans for expansion, the deep corporate pockets accelerated the growth rate so by 1972, there were over 1,200 Burger Chef outlets in operation. 
If you remember the commercials, the chain had two mascots, Burger Chef, voiced by Paul Winchell, and Jeff, the chef's juvenile sidekick. The burger chain also made attempts internationally by opening up 10 restaurants in Australia and expanding into Canada, but both attempts failed miserably, costing the company millions of dollars. In 1972, the chain introduced the Fun Burger, a hamburger with packaging that included puzzles and a small toy. The following year, the chain introduced the Fun Meal, the first kids meal that included a burger, french fries, a drink, and a cookie, and a small toy, which expanded packaging that included stories about Burger Chef and Jeff's adventures and friends, including the magician, Burgerini, Vampire Count Fang Burger, Talking Ape Burger Villa, and Cackle Burger, the witch, with riddles and puzzles. When McDonald's introduced their Happy Meal in 1979, the chain sued but ultimately lost. Unfortunately, not all was well. The corporate types at General Foods proved better at producing packaged foods for grocery stores than picking good locations and franchisees. And in 1972, they wrote down $47 million in the value of Burger Ship, announced plans to close over 300 stores, and launch a quality improvement plan that led to grilling buns and experiments with salad bars. They also piloted the self-service Burger Fixings Bar. Unfortunately, these changes were also part of the problem. Burger Chef had no less than four different logos and store designs during the 1970s, while McDonald's continued to grow at an astounding rate, and Burger King, once a minor also ran, gained a foothold. In 1977, Santa Serve was spun off. On November 17, 1978, someone abducted a 20-year-old assistant manager of the Burger Chef in Indianapolis, along with three teenage co-workers. Their bodies were found two days later in a hilly wooded area. The crime occurred as the store was closing, so by the time the police arrived early on Saturday morning, they assumed it was a burglary and told the employees they could clean up the store and reopen. By the time the police found the bodies and realized it was a homicide, the cleaning crew already destroyed valuable forensic evidence. The crime has officially remained unsolved despite several spotty leads and confessions. By 1982, General Foods had enough and sold the chain to Amasco Limited, a Canadian company that also owned Hardy's Food Systems. Amasco was looking for a way to quickly become a leader, and Burger Chef's remaining 679 store locations mesh well with the primarily southern-based Hardee's. Amasco converted many locations to Hardee's restaurants and let franchises and locations near existing Hardee's locations convert to other brands. Remaining restaurants that did not convert to Hardee's or new names and branding simply closed. Shortly after the $44 million sale to Amasco, a $14 million lawsuit was brought on by a group of franchisees that accused General Foods of wrongfully forcing franchisees to undertake expensive renovations while simultaneously seeking to sell the chain. This lawsuit was finally settled in 1996 when the last official Burger Chef closed its doors. Hardee's brought back the Big Chef hamburger for a limited time in 2001, 2007, and 2014 at some Midwestern locations. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.